Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us in our conversation. Sophie and I have had many conversations over the years, more often over wine than not. Uh, and so we're so glad that you're here with us tonight to talk about the future of the anti-trafficking movement. Now, Sophie, you've worked in the anti-trafficking movement for, I mean, over 10 years at the local level, the regional level, the global level. So what do you think the movement is doing right and what does it need to do better? Uh, thank you so much, Sarah, and welcome everyone. I think uh, one of the things that I wanted to, we've spoken about between the two of us has been the whole of criminal justice system approach that the movement has basically uh, taken in, which means that most of the time uh, survivors of trafficking are treated as criminals or have to deal with the criminal, engage with the criminal justice system out of force rather than choice. And that has really changed in terms of the whole movement, how justice is defined, how justice is approached, and how survivors essentially are, are included into the movement. And for me, that is what needs to be done better. We need to think of a better way of engaging with survivor, survivors that is not only through a criminal justice system lens. I think that's so important to really highlight, Sophie, this need to move away from the criminal justice framework to something different. And, you know, as a lawyer, the definition that I have of trafficking was shaped by my training. And the more I work with survivors, the more I recognize that I really need to redefine this. So in looking to how we shift away from a criminal justice framework, how would you define justice in this new model? If you're talking about defining justice, there is no way you can define justice without being really being survivor centered and really looking at each survivor's definition of justice, because justice will be defined by a survivor based on the trauma that they've gone through. And we all know by now that trauma is very subjective. What one person has gone through is very different from what another person has gone through. So if you are looking at justice using that lens as a response to trauma, it's extremely important for us to look at justice as care, as provision of care to survivors based on what they've gone through. And that in many times does not look like going to court. That many times does not look like getting a perpetrator arrested. It looks different for each person that you're dealing with. Sometimes it's just reading someone's lease contract. Sometimes it's accompanying someone to the police station. And sometimes it looks like education in terms of rights. So if we can change our lens, I really feel that we can move into a space where survivors are served better, taken care of better, and we can stop housing human trafficking, national human trafficking secretaries in the Ministry of Interior, which has really affected the whole movement. Thank you. So, oh, sorry. Sophie, thank you so much for your insights and really challenging us to rethink how we define justice in the anti-trafficking movement. I always learn so much whenever we chat and I miss you a lot. And to all in the audience, I hope that you've enjoyed this conversation and that you will continue this conversation in your own organizations and your own work. We have a lot to do. Thank you for attending On My Side 2020. Good evening.